Wallace. And I have Don Holly here with me. Three phases, dressage, cross country, show jump. And you're out on course and something's going wrong or going right. You know how to react to what they're doing. It was built originally to be a schooling facility and so everything's set up very conveniently. Welcome to the John and Rick Show, brought to you by Horse Trailer Pros. We have a big night for you guys tonight. We are going to have our Olympic preview here. Yeah, and that's great. We've got Leslie Law, the Athens Olympics gold medalist, coming yeah, in to, for him to be here to hang out and do a whole little preview. That's super. And you just got back from vacation. I did, and I tell you what, I feel so stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens. You're not stressed on vacation, but when you get back. Oh man, I had a great time. We went up to my family's cabin mm -hmm. in northern Wisconsin. It is the most, for me, the most wonderful place on earth. Right. It's a beautiful lake. We water ski, we fish, we hang out, um, have a great time. Then I taught a clinic on the back end of that. Wow, you, you worked in work. Yep, so that was good. And then um, got home late, late on Sunday night and um, then hit the, hit the farm this morning grass was this high oh no over top of my head just the girls did an amazing job the horses are all super Every, the horses what which matters, is the right? important but still thing. yeah you have ocd so seeing tall grass is yeah probably it, not good. it made me bonkers i almost at 10 30 last I know. night what's your son are we supposed to be talking about your grass oh good job and then we can take a picture of it um <laughs> my my son did he skied yeah he water skied for the first time ever which was pretty cool that is great yeah did he do well? Did he get up on the first one? It would take several tries. Look who's in the yeah. house. Oh, Mr. Law just joined us. That's great. It's exciting. Um, he, so we've tried to make him ski the last two years. Right. You know, with peer pressure and shaming. All the good, really all the well, good things obviously. that parents do to their kids. Yeah. Pressure them. Um, yeah. You know, promise things. And none of that worked. He promised them a pony and then the pony's there, but he doesn't ride. Yeah, he rides. Oh, okay. He rides. Um, but anyway, he was um, this year on the way up said, I'm skiing this year. See? And, and he did it. Second time, second try of the trip, boom, up. Well, he's 13. He's probably ready to go. And plus, he's been working out a lot. He's, he's like on it. Yeah, he's like, he's ripped now. He's like that baby Hercules. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to start calling him that. Yeah, baby Hercules. B H. He'll love that. He'll love I that. I know, right? And so what, you guys did pop? We did do pop. Uh, Emily did another great job putting it on. Um, Briggs and I took just two, the two prelim horses. Briggs did really well with the booming boudron. He scored a 27 and clear and show jump. We just did the combined. Right. He was second and I took um, my dingo horse and he was good in the dressage and we clear show jump. I was third behind him, so he beat me, but it's all right. What the heck? Elisa took months in, slew, riot, um, not riot, uh, let it be lead, did the advanced combined and intermediate combined. Had a good, good going. It was good. good. Everything went well. Awesome. And awesome. then we watched, in between, we watched some of the dressage for the Olympics. Right. I know John Kyle and Lucinda Green are commentating. Yes. Um, and we also caught some of Rebecca Farm. Right. And so I want to talk about Rebecca Farm, but right. before we even do that, we were talking before we went on air about, you were saying, the riders, you don't think, walked in the opening ceremonies. At the Olympics. Right. That's correct. I. Um, and another bad thing about the opening ceremonies, I understand why they didn't walk. Obviously, people are real scared about COVID. Right. Um, and testing positive can knock you out of it. Um, but when they did do the opening ceremonies, they mic'd two of the flag holders, a female and a male. Right. Were they sniffling and coughing on mic? Well, they're holding the flag, but they just interviewed them, and we didn't see any of the other athletes. Maybe it's because nobody was there. Right. <laughs> I know when I was sort of reading reports on the Olympics right. and the opening ceremonies. They weren't saying, we don't want you there, but they were kind of like, eh, you could show up if you want to, but if you don't, that's cool. Yeah, I think, I, think I would have stayed secluded somewhere. I don't even know if they're staying in the village. Leslie might know, but. Yeah, um, I don't know. You, but, but that said, you're supposed to be taking the pro be in the walk thing while I take the con for good television and well, they should Well, they should have really freaking walked. No, I disagree. Why? I don't know. 
I don't know. I'm sorry, we can't argue about that one because I kind of agree with you. Yeah, they should. Um, they, well, they should do what they want to do. I, I think I, I even, when we were speaking to, to Doug and he, on our last show, yep. he wasn't too worried about it, but I think I would be freaking out a little bit if you could test positive at any time. Right. That even you're if out. you feel fine, you can there's test no, positive if you're vaccinated. There's no, you're done. You're, they, you, you're done. Right. You know? So, right. Anyway. That's, that's, how we're, that's how we're getting the Germans. Is that how it's going to be? That's Do how we, it's going like, to happen. Sprinkle gonna, some somewhere? Sneeze on young. <laughs> out. <laughs> out of there. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I hope nobody gets sick and it's a great no, competition. Yeah, it, obviously. obviously. Um, so then Rebecca Farm. Yeah, Rebecca Farm went on. Um, and all reports I've heard is that the event ran great. There were no big problems. Everybody rode quite well, reasonably well right. out there. Um, and, you know, it's funny. Like, it wasn't a big division in the long, but having clinic out there i rode there one year and i've walked around the course it is a big enough track on the cross country and i tell you what anybody who can jump through that coffin out there is like ready to rock because that thing is for real ian did right. not mess around with that right thing. so um, I, I do know watching the long um i mean liz liz did a good job staying staying on going well that at, was in the short right oh she was in the short yeah, sorry in the short going on cooley um quicksilver uh, she, the horse trip going down the hill, it was nothing fence related other than landing. Uh, and I was like, oh, don't, don't, don't. And, and where, she, that was at the coffin? She, no, that was going down. It was a downhill tracaner. Yep. And uh, to, to a corner. Towards the water? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yep. But she, she managed to stay on and keep her, you know, keep her footing. Um, but the long, um, it was won by James Alliston. Yep, he won that on Paper Jam. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a clever And we name. saw Caroline go with Captain Island Jack. Island Wood Captain Jack. That's it. Yeah. Uh, I love this about you. By the way, just for the record, mm -hmm. you do massacre names. Yep. And I love it. Good. <laughs> what's your name? Exactly. <laughs> All right, and then we had Jenny. I think, what's your name? Leslie. Last, <laughs> we, had, we had Jenny... Brannigan on Last to Gleam Twilight. Yeah, Twilight Last <laughs> Gleaming. <laughs> Thanks. Twilight's Last Gleam. Yeah, so she finished Whatever. in third. It was a thoroughbred chestnut. Right, right. And Jumped then great. Mark Grandia, who we have to make sure we mentioned. On a Rebecca Farm Horse. On a Rebecca horse. Farm Horse. Yeah, Campari FFF. And um, he finished yep. out the top four there. So that was pretty, Very good. pretty exciting for them to have their horse I right mean, there. I mean, it was too bad about Woods. And yeah. it was too bad about um, Aaron. And so what happened to Woods? Because I didn't get to see I him. actually turned it on and saw him gallop by. And then the next thing I hear, he had a run out at 17. And then after that, I think he had some trouble at uh, fence 20. I think there was a skinny brush to a corner or something. Right. I, they never showed him again. So I just heard that he had three stops. Right. And well, it was too bad. That is too bad. It's a long way to go. It's for a long that. way to go. That's a yep. bummer. He has a lot riding on him. And I know that he's probably not feeling all that good right now so. right uh, yeah, shout out right to you you'll be fine bounce back it's a tough sport yeah absolutely and then aaron unfortunately had a had a couple run outs as well yeah she had 60 there yeah I, but funny you, enough only 14 time so she was flying i gotta understand it how do you get 60 and not get eliminated would be Isn't two it three, stops at the same fence would be 20 for the first one 40 for the 40 second, for the second right gotcha yep that's it God, that's how you at, do I'm it. good at math. Um, and then we went to the four short where we had Maya Black win it on Mixed Master C. She looked really good. It's a long way to go for a short for her. Yeah, but I think it's more toward her home, and I think she could apply for the grant. Right. Okay. There's a grant. Right. Right. It's the last year, by the way. Yeah. It's a great place. I just like, it's a, it's a big commitment I really big think a lot of people are inspired job. to go, I th and I could see why she would do that. Right. Um, and, and she's from the West Coast. Right, right. So. And so then, like we said, we had Liz Halliday there on Cooley Quicksilver, where she was second. Yep. And then Beck Breitling was third in that short division. So that's pretty good. And then James Alliston won, won the three again. Long. Yeah. Yep. Which, I mean, you got to feel pretty good when you win a right. four long and a three long. Good and for he was him. actually second in the three long as well. So good job for James. Yeah, he had a, he had a weekend. Yeah. Of course, he didn't have Tammy Smith there. Well, yeah. Or me. <laughs> or you. Tammy was going to be there originally, wasn't she? She was. She was going to She was going to head she's back. Probably happy she's not, but yeah. Yeah, and that's another thing we'll be talking about Leslie here in a minute. Like, can you imagine going all the way over there as an alternate and even after the jog, you still have to stay ready to go. Right. Like, that's 
a lot to deal with. So yeah, you got to stay top of your game all the way till it's over. Yeah, because you got the horse stuff. You got the COVID. horse. The horse stuff. Like you got horse soundness issues. Right. You have to okay, be horse worried stuff. about horse it. stuff. Okay. And then you also, like we were talking, you have COVID. Like at any point, you could have a horse going great, and then oh look, you know. I know, right? One of the team members tests positive for COVID. You're in. Right. Boy. Boy. That's Boy. a lot to deal with. Well, I know. Listen, let's get into that. Let's take a quick break. I know we can get Leslie and Law we'll get in here. Leslie out here, and we'll start going through these. We teams can all, all speak like English accent. I'm gonna make him speak like an American. Oh, okay. Yeah. Y'all. That'd be awesome. I'll get a couple used to codes. Can't right. wait to have him on. We'll be right back. Want to advertise on the John and Rick Show? Contact John at 352-875-8622. Or call Rick at 850-879-2649. For a horse owner on the road, your trailer is essential. No one enjoys being stuck on the road. At Horse Trailer Pros, we repair, renovate, and maintain all makes and models of horse trailers. We work directly with your insurance company or manufacturer for warranty repairs and insurance claims. Our state-of-the-art facility provides quick turnaround and friendly customer service. Considering a living quarter conversion, we do those too. Find comfort on the road with Horse Trailer Pros. Call or text 352-804-2131, horsetrailerpros.com. When it comes time to compete, I demand the best out of my horses and myself. That's why Elemental Fit Lab, the home of CrossFit Antics, is my home gym. Coach Vilma and her team create a fun, welcoming environment for athletes of all levels. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned athlete, Elemental Fit Lab will guide you towards a stronger, healthier version of you. Mention the John and Rick show to get three free personal training sessions with enrollment. Sweet Dixie South is an equestrian facility built for the lifestyle of the vendors of all levels. Whether you are coming to Ocala for the entire season, a week, a month, or a year, this beautiful 160 acre farm is the place to settle in and enjoy your time with horses. They offer a full cross country course with two water features, banks, ditches, an amazing footing to gallop, a spectacular all weather footing ring, large grass jumping fields and dressage rings. Located in the rolling hills of North Marion County in Reddick, Florida, Sweet Dixie South has a hundred stalls and numerous paddocks, apartments, a line of camper hookups, washer and dryer amenities, as well as common areas to complete your experience during your stay. Under the ownership of Mike Campbell and the management of Can Do Joe Adams at Top Rail Tack, Sweet Dixie South has transformed into a premier eventing training facility in Florida. Go to www.sweetdixiesouth.com for more information. Hey, Rick here. Do you have a horse suffering from poor performance, anxiety and fear, low appetite, agitation or nervousness? Stress Less can help. Stress Less, the hot horse remedy is veterinarian developed, show safe, all natural formula that promotes calmness, focus, and mood balance in horses experiencing stress related to training, showing, racing, stall rest, and travel. This equine supplement encourages calmness, focus, and mood balance without affecting the motor skills or energy levels of your horse. It promotes a more willing and balanced temperament with no drowsiness or impaired function, resulting in increased focus, a calm mind, and a happier horse and rider. Try Stress Less today and see for yourself why we think Stress Less is the best hot horse remedy you will find. Check us out at centerlinedistribution.net and on Facebook and Instagram as Stress Less Horse Supplement. Welcome back to the John and Rick Show. This is the Stress Less segment and we have Leslie Law with us today. We are so glad he's here. Gold medalist from the Olympics only right that he's here to talk to us about the Olympics. Couldn't have a better guy. Les, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you for asking me to be here. Yeah, so... Um, Typically I say Leslie Law. That's pretty good. I know. Yeah. It's yeah. not bad. I know. It's not bad. See? Yeah, there you go. It's but pretty... go ahead, what were you going to ask him? Um, well, now you've, Who's thrown me win? Off. now you've thrown me off again. Um, no, we're see, getting into... Do this, do it. Oh, we can't do that until the last segment, can Come we? Come on, we planned this. Yeah, Did we, we planned this. I Predictions are in our last Howard, segment. But now Howard, we... Howard. <laughs> 
just need to be quiet. <laughs> See, now it. Rick may have discovered my middle name, which is <laughs> slightly annoying. So I'm really excited about that. Go ahead, get us back on track. Um, well, before we even get into this, I do want to remind everybody to make sure they check us out on YouTube. Their, all their podcast players on YouTube, right. um, Facebook TV, wherever you're watching us, go to one of the other platforms, hit subscribe or like. It really helps us out. Give us a review. Have you subscribed to us, Leslie? Of course. All right, perfect. Have you given us a good review? Of course. All right, that's what All I like the right answers. Thank you. Thank you. You're a good liar. <laughs> of course. <laughs> my nose my doesn't grow. Okay, good job. Good job. Um, so, the Olympics are here. Everybody's really excited about it. We've got them. Actually, they start right after this show. So this is a great Olympic preview. And obviously, we want to run through some of the big names and the teams and all of that. Um, but you know, we're, we're right now, I guess, actually on the day of the competition. You've been there. So take us through, like, you know, we've all been to big horse shows, but that's the biggest horse show of your career. What is going through everybody's mind right now as they're getting ready for this? Well, I mean, I think everybody's a little, everybody's different. Um, even, when, even when I was there and, you know, I was on the British team, obviously, and um, even with our, within our own team, all of us were different individuals. Some wanted to go to bed early, some wanted to stay up. Um, some, some want to get to the showground early, others are more relaxed about getting there. And so everybody's different, but I think obviously everybody's um, sort of buckling down and really beginning to sort of really focus on it's, it's happening. Um, up, until, up until this point, there's usually been some, you know, nice jokes being thrown around in between the teams and everybody's in good spirits and you get to this point and everybody starts to get a little bit quieter and starts this little bit sort of withdraw into their their own space and become more of an individual person even though it's a team competition and they really start focusing on on the job at hand and so with the logistics of it in Athens was the cross country on the same venue as the dressage and show jumping? Yes, it was. So we were, we were fortunate in that. that you had free access to go walk it whenever Free you access to go walk the course whenever we wanted. And, so. and my understanding is in Tokyo, that's not the case. It's a separate. That's right. They've got, they've, they've got a transport over to the cross country. Um, I'm not sure how far that is, but I think, yeah, I think it's a it's, bit of a hike. It's I think. a bit of a hike, exactly. And there was talk about them because of COVID um, having some real restrictions as to when and how many times they were going to get over there. Do you know any more about that? I haven't heard any more about that, but I know like um, the U.S. had um, come up with uh, doing a course walk and sort of filming all the jumps and... Um, it was like a virtual reality thing. Doing a virtual reality thing so they could actually you know, sit down, whether it be, whether they're, when they're at the venue or whether they're, you know, back in their own space at the hotel or, or um, whenever they have free time and um, actually sort of like put a pair of... So have you seen it? Is it like a pair of goggles they put them on? I believe so. I, I believe think I'd so. be motion sick so, the whole time. Um, well, you know so Probably you why are. you didn't get picked. Yeah, that, that must be it. <laughs> like, don't take him. He's he got a sense of tummy. He can't even go fishing, deep sea fishing. <laughs> yeah. He won't even get on a boat. I mean, the selectors probably went, no, no, no. Out, I, out, out. Had nothing to do with my lack of performance. <laughs> <laughs> it was all, all to do with you getting emotion sick. Right, right. Um, but that is pretty cool. I saw them kind of working on that. And yeah. I'll be interested to see. We're going to obviously... As soon as this is over, we're going to try to get some of, some of the team members, or at least one of the team members, to come on. And that is something I'm really interested to hear about, if right. that was useful or not. Because um, I, I would have to think that it's useful. Well, I think, in, you know, probably, I think it's, you know, they've... It's better than nothing. They've very much gone down this road for, for this Games with that in mind, knowing that it could be difficult to get over to walk the cross-country course. And, uh, you know, like... Um, with the transport and everything else and you know I mean you're riding and then you know even then you want to be there for when your other team members are doing dressage and you know yeah. it, lo it looks like you've got all day and then suddenly they don't have any time you, you, well and even if it's like a 20 gone. minute drive there that's yeah. 40 minutes round trip yeah you I know. mean it's like that for us at regular shows I can't imagine how time gets away from you at the Olympics because just like you said, when you think you have all this time, and it, you really don't. Yeah, I mean, 
The nearest we've had, we, um, we had the same, same circumstance in, um, at the World Games when it was in Jerez in Spain. And again, there the cross, the cross country was away from the venue and um, it makes it, it tough. It makes it, it's awkward. I guess the one good, not that it's good, but the one thing that might make it a little bit easier with all of the logistics is there's no crowd for them to have to siphon through. There's no people pulling on right. you saying, hey, can we get an interview or talk to you about this? That I'd be like, yes, there's some press, but I think it's pretty limited. Right. Um, so once they're there, I'm assuming they can just get right out, get on the course and start walking. Yeah. But what I was gonna say is like, you know, you'd think the virtual reality thing seems weird when I first thought about it, but we all do it on our phones, like with the take a picture of the fence, or you can go through the app. I've done that where you go through some of those cross country apps. Do you apps. get sick doing that? No, I'm pretty good because it's not moving. But that's you good. look at the pictures, right? And it does help you like the night before to be like, okay, right, that's that fence. Yeah. And then I remember it's three strides. So once they've walked it, I would think it's probably even more helpful. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how it all, how it all works out. I'm over. really interested to see that, but I'm excited about the dressage. Let's talk about dressage for the first day. Really? So, <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? Oh, dressage? Let's talk like, about it. Like eventing dressage. Yes. <laughs> right. Eventing <laughs> dressage. So, Are, do we know the rotations yet? Have we done the draw? Do we know how we're running? Yeah, I haven't heard the draw. No, I haven't heard it yet. So. It's out now, but it's not out now. Now. So it's out to them, but it's not out to pub the public. Well, I think it's out to the public, but don't forget, we're pre-recording, <laughs> so it's not out <laughs> to us. <laughs> gotcha. I got it. You got it. Leslie got it. He knew what I was doing. <laughs> Shut up. Stay with it. Howard, you need to just watch it. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> I'm not wrong. I'm just different. <laughs> right. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, so let's, when we can get started on this. So the first team, who's the first team that you have on your list? The first team I have here is Australia. Yeah, yeah. We've got, I've got Australia here too. Yeah. So... I've got Chris Burton, well, Andrew Hoy, and Shane Rose, but one of those changed. Is yeah, that right? Yeah, Chris Burton um, had to withdraw. Right. Um, during quarantine. Okay. So, so uh, who's taking that spot? Stuart? Uh, Stuart Tinney. So Stuart Tinney's been called in. Yeah. And so now, do they have another traveling reserve? Or is, was it? I believe they do. Okay. I think, I'm pretty sure they do have a traveling reserve, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I mean, and that's a pretty good team. Like, Andrew should do quite well on that horse, I would think, yeah? I thought we were doing predictions at the end. Well, we have to do some basic, <laughs> some basic, some basic discussion. Right. Let's, I mean, nah, I you're right. Actually, we're going to have three segments of just quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I, think, I think that's a great horse. And um, I, would, I would, you know, Andrew's got, what's this? Is sixth, seventh, eighth Olympic Games or something? I think it's eighth. I think that's He's right. the, the oldest equestrian on that team. For sure. Yeah. Um, and, you know, this was a great horse. It, it ran very well at Tryon at the, at the Worlds. Yep. Um, and it was a young horse. I think it was eight, nine years old. Wow. And so it's now got a couple more years. Under ex its Yeah, experience. It's a lovely horse. And, um, you know, I think it might just be a little bit off the pace after the dressage, although that's, that's certainly been improving of, of recent. But I mean, after that, it's a great cross country horse. Obviously, Andrew has all the experience, great rider. And what I think is so important then for the Olympic Games, for the individual anyway, is, is obviously the two show jumping ranks. Sure. And that horse is one of a handful of these horses that could probably jump go and rounds. jump two clear rounds. And I think that, as I found out, that was very important. Right, yeah. <laughs> Well done. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we've got Shane Rose. I don't know that horse. Do you know that one, Virgil? No, I'm not, I'm not really familiar with, with the other two lads' horses. But um, again, they're, they're very experienced Olympians. Right. So yeah. um, Pretty seasoned team. Yeah. That's a, they'll, they'll know what they've got to do for sure. Right. And um, Australia you know, have been a very successful country in, in the three-day eventing at the Olympic Games. Yeah, they seem to always get it done, don't they? Yeah. Um, all right, look, let's take a quick break, and then we're going to get back, and we're going to get into the meat of all these guys. Big thank you to Stressless right. for being the segment sponsor. If you guys have any horses that get stressed under any sort of 
competition circumstances where they're, you know, you just want to take that edge off. It is a great product. I think, Leslie, you even use it a little bit, don't you? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah do. you do. I know you do because I've do. talked to your wife about it. There you you do. You okay. use it you, yourself. That's yeah, why, that's you're, why so you're so calm. That's why you're so less. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. I'm John Holling and this is my wife Jen and we run Holling Eventing out of Willow Run Farm here in Ocala, Florida. We love our Jump for Joy jumps. We are standing in front of one of my favorites which is our Jump for Joy angle brush which we have up on our bank complex so we can prepare the horses for the three days that are coming up and it is very mobile and we can put it anywhere we need to get the horses the questions that they need to see before we go and compete. So we love them for cross country. We also have them in our show jump ring. They're great, you never have to paint them. Maintenance is super easy. And uh, like Jen was saying, the shoulder brush here um, and any of the portable cross country jumps that Chuck for Joy makes are great. They're easy to move around, change the courses, we love them. You can put them in the water jump, you can put them anywhere you want. So if you're looking for some new show jumps, some new cross country jumps, check out Jump for Joy. Hey, Rick here. Do you have a horse suffering from poor performance, anxiety and fear, low appetite, agitation or nervousness? Stressless can help. Stressless, the hot horse remedy, is veterinarian developed, show safe, all natural formula that promotes calmness, focus and mood balance in horses experiencing stress related to training, showing, racing, stall rest and travel. This equine supplement encourages calmness, focus, and mood balance without affecting the motor skills or energy levels of your horse. It promotes a more willing and balanced temperament with no drowsiness or impaired function, resulting in increased focus, a calm mind, and a happier horse and rider. Try Stressless today and see for yourself why we think Stressless is the best hot horse remedy you will find. Check us out at centerlinedistribution.net and on Facebook and Instagram as Stressless Horse Supplement. Welcome to Terranova Equestrian Center. Located in Mayaca City, Florida, just a short drive from some of the nation's top beaches. As a competitor, one of the most important things we look for when planning our competition calendar is the quality of course design and footing for our beloved equine athletes. We are so excited to host our inaugural event, the Event at Terra Nova, this fall. This event was thoughtfully created by some of the most innovative and experienced minds in our sport. The courses are run over gorgeous terrain, and we are proud to offer custom drainage and irrigation throughout all levels of competition. Terra Nova is certainly the gold standard, with six Wordley Martin GGT arenas, and a Captain Mark Phillips designed and Eric Bull built cross country course, complete with frangible technology. We hope to create a special experience for all levels of riders. Whether you're experiencing your first horse show or are a seasoned Olympic athlete, Terra Nova is excited to welcome you. Summit Joint Performance, the injectable joint supplement used by numerous international and Olympic riders, invites you to experience the winning Summit difference. Made of all natural ingredients, Summit increases mobility and comfort. Win your class with Summit Joint Performance. Grant Showalter has over 15 years of equine bodywork and saddle fitting experience. His technique uses manual pressure and stretching to release points of restriction, leading to freer movement, reduce soreness, and restored range of motion. He has a thorough understanding of the importance of a properly fitted saddle. He can quickly identify and correct any balance issues and can adjust your saddle on site. I personally have Grant work on all of my event horses to keep them feeling their best before, during, and after their competitions. Grant is based in Florida year-round, but regularly travels to Georgia, Tennessee, and the surrounding areas. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 484-639-4454. Welcome back to the John and Rick Show, and we are in the middle of our Olympic preview with the Athens gold medalist, Mr. Leslie Law. Thanks for sticking around. Thank you. Didn't really give you an option, but I appreciate no. it anyway. Um, so we just finished up with Australia, 
We did, correct. And we're gonna move on now. We're gonna skip ahead to sort of the next team that is a bit of interest, which actually isn't a team. Isn't a team, right. Which is Canada, eh? Yeah, yeah. Eh? That's eh? pretty important, I know, in our households, being yeah. we have some Canadian wives. Yeah, tricky. Uh, so, so yeah, so it is a little tricky. <laughs> Canada is in flux, we will say. Tricky. <laughs> but they did send two very experienced riders and very experienced horses. Um, well, I think that that's the title for that, is that. Yes. Very experienced. Very, very experienced. Mm -hmm. So we got Colleen Loach on what is Corey, as I know him, Corey yep. Blue. Yep. And then Jesse Phoenix on Pavarotti. Yep. So the combined age of those two horses is like 73. <laughs> <laughs> so that said, Older they know their job. Older than the three of us. Older than the, three of, than sure. the yeah. three of us. Um, yeah. But good friends of ours, and I do wish them both a ton of good luck. So yep. do you have any, any predictions or thoughts on those guys? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to see that, you know, they're going to be in the hunt for the medals, you know, being absolutely frank. Right. Um, you know, as you've already said, uh, you know, both horses are older. Um, we're assuming it's, you know, we're, that the conditions is hot and humid. And, uh, you know, you would think that would, it's probably going to favor younger horses a little bit. Um, well, and they're both pretty strong so, horses, aren't they? Like they're yeah. bigger, heavier types. Yeah. I would, and I think from what I've understood, it's likely going to be a bit of a twisty, turny course. You would think so. What are we looking, <coughs> what are we looking at in minutes? Do we well, know? Well, it's, 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 it's been reduced to eight minutes. Okay. Uh, which is in their which favor, then. Is, it's, it's, well, yes and no. Still I mean, the same number of jumping efforts Same in number minutes? of jumping efforts. So. You know, it was supposed to be 10 minutes, so they've reduced it to eight minutes. So th that, that actually could jumping. make the time harder to get. Yeah, right? because you've got a lot to do. You know, because you just you just don't have the time to settle down between the jumps and um, make up time when if you've had a little bit of a rough ride somewhere. Right. And uh, you know, it's 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 going to be much closer to a short format, quite honestly. Right. And we all know in short format, you're you're as soon as you're counted down, you're you're off Doing your from work. start to finish. There's, there's nowhere there's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere to sort of just settle down and cruise. You're 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 going for it from start to finish. And all of that said, the only thing I will say is I know Colleen, who obviously I'm a huge fan of, um, she did go to the WEG at Tryon and was, I believe, the first horse she out. She was. She was the Pathfinder. And yep. she looked amazing. Smoked it. Yep. <laughs> Smoked it to the point where even she was like, she said to me, I mean, I did that and thought, well, there's going to be a lot of clear rounds today. Right. And then there wasn't. Yeah. So, you know, while I joke about these horses are older, she does know that horse really well, and I wouldn't be shocked if she went out there and laid down a really good round. And, you know, again, whether the dressage is going to get there or the show jumping, I don't know, but I think Colleen is a pretty cool, cold competitor, and she could have put in a really good performance. No, I mean, both, girl, both girls are great competitors. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just hard to see yeah. with, with, this, with this field that they're going to be... You yeah, know, to Close to the me you know, close to the medals. Pavarotti right. is a strong horse. I don't think. I think the shorter time. I think that makes it makes even, it more difficult. Makes it even more difficult for him, quite honestly. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, in my opinion, is is, you know, they should have used it. I think to have sent somebody else on a younger horse, but that would have been me. So. Yeah. Well, there's been a lot I think of discussion. They're looking for selectors. Are they? I don't want that job. <laughs> Nobody wants that job, evidently. Uh, I mean, <laughs> the pay is excellent, I'm sure. I'm Actually, sure. Actually, I know. <laughs> they, I know You what can't the even pay get is. up there to do anything. Um, you know, so perhaps, you know. I don't speak as you, have, as you have an opinion, we could perhaps in our household. I do have a son. Put, put your name forward. I have yeah, a, exactly. a son-in-law that's Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> perfect, perfect. You well, you qualify. I qualify. Yeah. As we've all done, even in our own countries and, and here, you know, you volunteer and then you get lambasted for the work you do while you volunteer. So <laughs> I feel for the selectors up there as well because you do the best you can and then everybody's going to question you. And I question them. Well, but Canada's going to be all. talked about for a while until they can figure Absolutely. something out. Absolutely. But so. I love Canada. I love Canadian women, especially mine. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> and I love poutine. And they have great beer. Explain that to people, because some people might just French think fries you're, you're and cheese with like gravy. Dirty. It's amazing. So good luck. Good so luck to the girls. Go Canada. Go yeah. Canada. All right. So then we're going to move on here. China. That is a team that actually could do really well, I think. 
Um, we're not going to make any predictions yet, but they look pretty good to me. So what are your thoughts on, on China? Yeah, I mean, you know, Alex has been based over in the UK for, for a long, long time now. And uh, he's, he's a great writer yeah. and uh, very, very good and um, has, had, has had some good results over there in Europe. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think the way this format is laid out, which is obviously new this time, um, I think it opens it up a whole lot more, you know. I mean, there's obviously the strong countries in there, but when I, when there was really a discard score, I think that I think that was a, that was a bonus to the stronger countries because they could really take yeah. a bit of a chance with one of their riders, right. you know, and knowing that the other three were still really strong behind them. Yeah, um, whereas I think the lesser nations couldn't play that game so so much. But now, now with it, you know, all three have got to perform on cross country day, and so I think it's really opened it up. And I think these some of what we would consider lesser nations, I think they're they they're going to be in with a shout. Some of them. I mean, I think you. I think it's very yeah, good, point, a good point because you could have Great Britain, for example, have three great dressage rides, two great cross country rides, and just one silly blip. Absolutely. And you're out. Yeah. The Germany could happen to anybody. It Absolutely. is going to be exciting to watch. And like I said, I think, you know, when the likes of Great Britain and Germany, you know, they, they could have a discard score, they could, they could edge their bets a lot more. And uh, so I think, I think for these countries like China and some of these other countries, I think it, it's probably going to open it up. And it, as much as, as there's been a lot of talk about it, whether it's right or whether it's wrong, and a lot of people don't like it and so forth, I think actually watching it, it could be quite exciting and right. um, I think the chef that keeps are going to have to play a very tactical game on cross country day as, as the competition unfolds. I'll tell you what, it'd be a tough job like just in my experience with young riders and doing a Central American games as a coach, like it's tough to tell your riders like, yeah, go. Right. When you're doing the math in your head and like, mm, if we have one little blip, that's it for us. But if we could just get three home clear, yeah. we have a shot at a medal. Do you go for the gold or do you try to get that completed team and hope you get a medal out of it? It's a tough call, isn't it? Well, I think, I think it here, is, it's I think, really hard. I think any country that gets, you know, if they, any country that gets three home, uh, we don't know what the, how the time's going to play out on cross country day, but if the time's difficult and anybody can get three, three home clear and inside or close to the time, I think they're going to be in the game. They're going to be in the game. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, going to be exciting to watch. Yep. So a country that is going to be in the game is France. Yes, but they've, they've just had some, they've had some bad news. They've just lost, um, who have they lost? They've lost Thomas Carlyle. Right, so who took that spot? Uh, and um, who brought, um, I'm, I'm looking. Kareem I'm looking, Florent. Yes, Kareem was brought in. And so which horse um, is he on? Triton Fontaine. So that's, that's, They've had a little bit of a rough ride going into this because, you know, they, they lost one of their other riders uh, during, I think, during quarantine. Yeah, they or, lost. Or just before quarantine. Because Christopher um, Six was called in when, what is it, Thibaut Valet? Yeah. Withdrew. Who, who, was, who went to Rio. Right. So France, France won the, gold, the team gold in Rio. Um, so, and he was in Rio and he's, you know, he had to withdraw. So, and now um, Thomas is, you know, Kyle Lyle's withdrawn. And I think that they were, there was a little bit of a hope as an, in, for, as an individual there with him. Right. So he's out. So they've had a little bit of a sort of a... So that might have opened some things up. Might have opened some things up. They've had a little bit of, you know, not, not the easiest passage going, in, going into this lead up for this. So right. well, it'll be interesting to see. And obviously, Nicholas Tuzan's back after a... A little bit, been out for a few years. Yep. Um, a wealth of experience. For sure. What, wonderful rider. And have you seen that um, horse go? I haven't, but, you know. If it's there and he's on it, it's going to be pretty good, I would I think. I would think so. Yeah. 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 Um, all right, well, it'll be interesting to see what France does. I'll yeah. to keep an eye on that. That is, I mean, they've had a lot thrown at them. Yeah. So. They're going to have to settle. Again, settle now, down and now and you're and saying with the new game, it's going to be even more strategically planned, right? right? So they've just they've got to settle down, get their heads around all that, and uh, figure it out. But 
there's there's still some great experience in that team. Why right. don't we take a break? Yeah, and then we're and gonna be back. Come and back. We're gonna talk about a country that you might have some interest in. America. That's one of the ones. Okay. Yes. All right, we'll be right back. We already talked about Canada. For a horse owner on the road, your trailer is essential. No one enjoys being stuck on the road. At Horse Trailer Pros, we repair, renovate, and maintain all makes and models of horse trailers. We work directly with your insurance company or manufacturer for warranty repairs and insurance claims. Our state-of-the-art facility provides quick turnaround and friendly customer service. Considering a living quarter conversion, we do those too. Find comfort on the road with Horse Trailer Pros. Call or text 352-804-2131. Horsetrailerpros.com. Deco Pony has specialized in making striking, durable, and affordable custom show and barn accessories for a decade. Our exclusive line of custom products has allowed us to create hundreds of beautiful aisles for riders across the globe. Let us make your dream barn aisle a reality with our custom stall guards, halter guards, wrap holders, and stall plaques. Deco Pony is the exclusive online retailer for QHP Tack in Holland, making it easy to complete your look. Follow Deco Pony on Instagram for all the latest. Hey, Rick here. Do you have a horse suffering from poor performance, anxiety and fear, low appetite, agitation or nervousness? Stressless can help. Stressless, the hot horse remedy, is veterinarian developed, show safe, all natural formula that promotes calmness, focus, and mood balance in horses experiencing stress related to training, showing, racing, stall rest, and travel. This equine supplement encourages calmness, focus, and mood balance without affecting the motor skills or energy levels of your horse. It promotes a more willing and balanced temperament with no drowsiness or impaired function, resulting in increased focus, a calm mind, and a happier horse and rider. Try Stressless today and see for yourself why we think Stressless is the best hot horse remedy you will find. Check us out at centerlinedistribution.net and on Facebook and Instagram as Stressless Horse Supplement. Summit Joint Performance, the injectable joint supplement used by numerous international and Olympic riders, invites you to experience the winning Summit difference. Made of all natural ingredients, Summit increases mobility and comfort. Win your class with Summit Joint Performance. Welcome back to the John and Rick Show. We're having a great time speaking to Mr. Law about what's going on over in Tokyo. Let's move on. So we got a lot to get through, right? We do have a lot to get through. So, so um, we are still here at the Horse Trailer Pros studio. So thanks to Horse Trailer Pros for sponsoring us. You're so good us. at that, Howard. I'm yep, appreciate thank you very it. much. So Great Britain is next. Yeah. Obviously a country you might have some interest in. Uh, so tell us, run us through that team and, and your thoughts. Well, it's, a, it's clearly a strong team. Um, all three combinations have won a five star. So. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so that looks, that looks pretty strong on paper, quite honestly. Yeah. Um, but I think like we were saying, I, mean, I think anything can happen with, with this, you know, three to a team. And it's so. still Laura Collette, Tom McHugh, and Oliver Town, and no changes to that? No changes to that. No, that's and the three. Ross Cantor, that was the one thing. Ross Cantor came in because Piggy March they didn't send the horse over as the alternate. Right. It was a little bit of a controversy. A little bit. Yeah. I think it kind of makes sense. All right. Yeah. I wish we had more time to, you know. Dig in. Dig into that. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, I, I think from what Pig has said, you know, like if she's, the chances are if you're going to be substituted in, it's, it's likely to be show jumping. Right. Um, so, I mean, obviously you could be substituted in at any point, but it looks like it's you're more likely to get substituted in for show jumping and as she said you know her horse really doesn't show jump that well fresh right it almost show jumps better when it's when it's when run it's cross country yeah. um so you know if you really want to be bringing a horse and rider combination in that probably is very strong in that in the show jumping phase and you know ros Cantor certainly is with that horse well so. the only thing i heard and i don't know if it's true is that Piggy was pretty upfront from the beginning that 
that probably wasn't going to ship over as the alternate? No, I think I think it was very clear from the beginning, and I think, you know, it kind of makes sense, really, doesn't it? Because, you know, I think Piggy, I would have thought was made the alternate alternate because if somebody had dropped out before they went, do you want would that, have been a good replacement. that yep. would have been the one right. to go in. Right. But it probably isn't the one to travel once you got to that point. Right. right. So when I looked, when I sort of looked at it that way, I was like. Yeah, I can see why why they've done it the way that why it's been done right. the way it has been done type of thing. And I think they all knew what was going on. Quite honestly, I think it's, probably everybody knew. It's right. a new game book. So yeah. right, right. I'm sure there's all kinds of controversy behind closed doors, and that team's just falling apart. <laughs> <laughs> they usually do. Yeah, they the the Brits struggle for sure. <laughs> um, Germany is next. We got Sandra Alfarth, Michael Young. He's okay. And you did that well, Julia. Yeah. How do you? How do you actually say Julia's last name? Because I always Krajewski. Know. Is it Krajewski? Well, that's what I I'm thought. Saying. Maybe the K was silent. Okay, Krajewski. I don't think that's it either. Maybe it's Shashevsky. But I think Krajewski is what we're going to go with. Yeah, let's so, do that. So obviously, a really strong team. Yeah. Really strong team. Yeah. We know. just we just realized. See, I just briefly want to just take us off track here. I complimented Briggs you in know. the break about how good he was doing on the clock. I was like, look, we're doing great. And then he hasn't set the clock. But now we're going. We're going to say that we're three minutes in or so. No. Good job. <laughs> good job, Briggs. Okay, we're going to say we're two minutes in. So Germany's quite good. Yeah. Um, you know, I think you probably have, I would imagine, a horse in there that's going to be vying, for, at least a horse, maybe two, vying for an individual medal on that team. Yeah, I mean, they're definitely up for individual medals. I mean, all three of those just ran extremely well in the, um, in the four-star short at Le Moulin. Uh, they, I think they probably actually finished first, second, and third. That's so, pretty good. That's all right. Um, so, but yeah. to be fair, they didn't have the rest of the world there, really, because they, because of COVID, they shut everybody down to the last minute. I don't think they needed them. Yeah, all right. What well, I'm trying, I'm working here, I'm trying to get something positive for the rest of us. They're good. Yeah, they are. <laughs> it's disgusting. So, really. They're very good. So I think you're right. I think there's individual medals in that, in those. In that, any one of those three, probably. Right. Um, yeah, go Germany. Yeah. Uh, Ireland is the next one I have, unless there's somebody else in there that I skipped that you want to talk about. But Ireland would be the next team. Yep. So we got Cathal Daniels. Yes. Sarah Ennis. Yep. And Sam Watson. Right. From Equa Ratings. Right. So that's a pretty good cross-country team. Yes. And that's what we, you know, we've talked about that already. Right. Um, you know. All three of those were on the WEG team at Tryon, right. where they, they, they won well. the silver medal. Yeah. So they, they, they have experience as, as a team together. So I'm sure there's some, you know, there's good team bonding there as well. So, um, and as you said, three great cross-country horses. And uh, so, yeah, they're in with a shout. I think it'd be interesting to get Sam Watson to give us their Erky ratings, yeah, and what their likelihood of a medal is. I bet he has it. Oh, sure he does. I'm sure, he statistically knows what their chances of a medal are and exactly what they need to do. Of course, he's pretty, does. pretty interesting guy to talk to about that stuff. Um, Italy. So they are the next team, and interestingly, it says here they're the four-man squad without specifying who is the alternate, which is strange because then they list the alternate. <laughs> <laughs> that is weird. Um, so do you know? I know Vittoria. Yeah, Vittoria. but I don't know the horse. Um, so you know any of these guys? What are your thoughts on them? Yeah, I mean, you know, good team. Um, Victoria. Victoria's a great rider. Plenty of experience. Um, Susanna Bodoni. Yes, um, I know Susanna. Another another great rider. Uh, putting them up against. Some of these other countries, you know, I think um, I'm sure they do well. Um, hard to see them getting into the medals. Right. So not a medal team, but a but a good team. Yeah. All right. Um, now we got the host country. We obviously have to talk about them, and I think they could be the surprise team. Not that I want to give my predictions, but I think they actually could be the team to come out and be like defend home court, right? I think, yeah, I think they've- Japan. I think they've got a great- Yeah. I think they got a they've really- been, They've been working hard. They've been working hard. And so the look on your face is it's uh, not even a surprise, John. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what are you talking about? Is that a surprise? <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do this. We got Yoshiaki Iowa. 
Iowa. Toshiyuki Tanaka. Yeah. And Kazuma Tomoto. Yeah. Oh, I'm good. I basically speak My wife calls him Tomato. Yeah, Tomato. Yeah. Um, so tell us about these guys. Well, they're, you know, they're, they're well experienced now, actually. You know, they've, again, they've all been... Are they all based in Europe? Yeah, I think they're all based in Europe. And, uh, you know, one of, the, one of them's been with William Foxbit now for a, for a number of years. He's okay. And uh, he's okay. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they're, they're great riders and they're great competitors. And they have nice horses. They have nice horses and they can put in all three phases these days. Right. Um, so, yeah, and they're, they're on, you know, they're on their home ground. And uh, probably the biggest shame for them above anybody that there's not going to be any crowds there. Right. You yeah. know. So um, the, the home court isn't quite as much an advantage maybe. Right. Especially would, since they don't live there. They're still yeah. going to travel like everybody else. Right. But I think it would have been wonderful, you know. It would have been so great for those yeah. three to have been there in front of a home crowd. Yeah. And uh, they're going to miss out on that a little bit, which is, that is a shame. really unfortunate. Yeah. Darn COVID. Uh, New Zealand. So we got the Kiwis. We got Tim Price, Jonelle Price, Jesse Campbell. Yeah. That's a pretty good team. That's a good team. That's a real good team. All three, um, well, they were, they were all over at Land Rover in the spring. And uh, so, and they all went pretty now, good. Are these the horses they had at Land Rover? Uh, Janelle's, Janelle definitely had this one at, uh, was oh. at Land Rover. Jesse's was at Land Rover. Um, Janelle, didn't Janelle have trouble at Kentucky? Not on this horse. Briggs, look it up. She was like third or fourth was on she? this horse. Yeah. She had two. She had, did she she have had two three. There? She had three there. That's why. Right. Which horse is she on? She's on Grovine de Rev, which I've actually Yeah, known, I think she was third. Known for a long time. Rod, it came from Rodney. Oh, really? From Rodney yeah. Powell? Yeah. He there bought it, I think, as a four-year-old from Ireland. And That's who's him cool. on? Tim's, and Tim's on, on Vitali. Yep. So that's a good team. That's a good team. Yeah. 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 And they yeah. look they look really good. Is that the first husband wife team at the Olympics? No, Do you ever heard of these guys O'Connors? Oh, that's right. They, they were, were pretty good. Team. I forgot. <laughs> I always forget about them. Sorry, and Karen um, there's, and David. A, there's another Not that there, I there was about another you. couple named the Fredericks. They were pretty good. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It's happened before. I was just asking, so. Howard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Poland, good, Poland has good. a team. I don't know any of them. Do you know any of the Polish riders? Not really, no. Okay, so we're going to, no offense to Poland, but we don't no. know them, so we're not going to comment on them too much. Uh, we do need to talk about the Puerto Rican rider, Lauren Billies, because she is based in the U.S. That's yep, right. From California on Castle, Larchfield, Purdy. Wonderful horse. Really nice girl. Um, what are your thoughts on her? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, I can't, again, you know, I think she'll, she'll have a great go. I think it's, you know, she'll be a really good competitor, but... Um, Not in the money. You can't, you know, it's hard to see it, you know. I mean, there's such, such good riders and horses yep. there. It's and, the Olympics. Yeah. yeah. Um, Switzerland or Sweden? Yeah, I mean, you know, I, it's hard to see, it's hard to see Switzerland you know, I think, again, they got some good, good experienced riders. You got Felix um, Vaughn in there yeah. on Calero. That horse was over here for a while when Felix was based here, right? Yes. And that was a pretty flash horse on yeah. the flat, if I recall. Yeah, that's the gray horse, right? Yeah, I yeah. believe so, yeah. Um, you know, and I mean, they, yeah, they're, and, I th and they got Andrew Nicholson helping them. Yep. So, you know, maybe, maybe. If it, like we said, three cross country rounds. Boom. With Nicholson there. If anybody's going to teach him how to get three clear cross country rounds, it would be Nicholson. It will be Nicholson. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Stickability. So, who knows? Um, and then we got Sweden. Yeah, Sweden, be, they're always a good eventing country. Right. Um, so, uh, you know, I think they've got, again, three good riders. Probably wouldn't be at the top of the favorite list for medals, but every, you know. Right, right. Should be good. Um, we're we're going to have to pull it down. We're going to take a little break. Yep. And then we're going to come back. We've got one last country that we I want to make talk sure we about. discuss, and then we're going to get into our predictions. Yep. And thanks, Horse Trailer Pro. Sorry, I left you out at the beginning.
Go for the bus. Yeah. Higher Standards Leather Care brings joy to a chore that every rider, whether Western or English, competition or trail, has to do. Clean and care for our tack. The saddle soap comes in four scents, all named after beloved horses. Ben's Rosemary Mint, Buzz's Citrus Ginger, Fox's Vanilla Lavender, and Woody's Confidence. For those who prefer a fragrance-free soap, Plain Bay is our unscented option. Our leather balm is a rich conditioner and, like the soap, is all handmade in small batches. Find us at hsleathercare.com to order direct or to find out if your favorite tax store is one of our retailers. Grant Showalter has over 15 years of equine bodywork and saddle fitting experience. His technique uses manual pressure and stretching to release points of restriction, leading to freer movement, reduced soreness, and restored range of motion. He has a thorough understanding of the importance of a properly fitted saddle. He can quickly identify and correct any balance issues and can adjust your saddle on site. I personally have Grant work on all of my event horses to keep them feeling their best before, during, and after their competitions. Grant is based in Florida year-round, but regularly travels to Georgia, Tennessee, and the surrounding areas. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 484-639-4454. Hi, I'm Liz Halliday sharp I'm an international event rider based in Ocala, Florida, and Lexington, Kentucky. We love our Jump for Joy jumps. We're able to take the fillers and portables with us back and forth between our two locations, which is really helpful. And we especially love the cross-country portable fences. We have lots of different ones so that we can bring them between Lexington and Ocala, and we've always got something exciting for the horses to learn and jump over. We love our fences, and we would recommend Jump for Joy to anybody. When it comes time to compete, I demand the best out of my horses and myself. That's why Elemental Fit Lab, the home of CrossFit Antics, is my home gym. Coach Vilma and her team create a fun, welcoming environment for athletes of all levels. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned athlete, Elemental Fit Lab will guide you towards a stronger, healthier version of you. Mention the John and Rick Show to get three free personal training sessions with enrollment. Sweet Dixie South is an equestrian facility built for the lifestyle of the vendors of all levels. Whether you are coming to Ocala for the entire season, a week, a month, or a year, this beautiful 160-acre farm is the place to settle in and enjoy your time with horses. They offer a full cross-country course with two water features, banks, ditches, an amazing footing to gallop, a spectacular all-weather footing ring, large grass jumping fields, and dressage rings. Located in the rolling hills of North Marion County in Reddick, Florida, Sweet Dixie South has 100 stalls and numerous paddocks, apartments, a line of camper hookups, washer and dryer amenities, as well as common areas to complete your experience during your stay. Under the ownership of Mike Campbell and the management of Can Do Joe Adams of Top Rail Tack, Sweet Dixie South has transformed into a premier eventing training facility in Florida. Go to www.sweetdixiesouth.com for more information. Welcome back to the John and Rick Show, brought to you by Horse Trailer Pros. As always, we are here in our last and final segment with Mr. Leslie Law. We've got two countries left we want to discuss, and then we're going to start debating some things and batting some stuff around. Um, so, Les, you wanted to talk about Thailand because that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, th I thought they... They deserve to mention it's. Um, I don't. I don't know these riders, but at the same time, it's it's the first time uh, Thailand have had a. I believe have ever had a team in, in eventing. Yeah, so, so we were saying the, the one we knew was Nina Ligon, right? Who was at the London Olympics as an individual, right? And she was an American who was of Thai ancestry who rode for Thailand. And I remember she had to travel all over the place to get enough points to go. And I'd like to think, I'm sure she would like to think, she must have had something to do with sort of inspiring this back I, I think home. so. Yep. That's pretty cool. I mean, I re yeah. remember her running around. She was in, in our area for a lot of the, these shows. Yeah. Who did she train with? I think she was with Kim, Kim. Severson. Yeah. That's right. She was with Kim. Yeah. Yeah, so cool for that. Thailand's yeah. going to have a team. Yeah, I think that's great. I yeah, do too. Oh, yeah. Thailand. Plus, yeah. I Who love, else do we got to talk plus about? Plus, I love Thai food, so that's good. I do too. I liked, like it Thai hot. Yeah, yeah, that's right. All right, so we got one last country. <laughs> My favorite, my, Rick's favorite, my favorite, Leslie. Yeah, Leslie's favorite. Yeah, you heard it here. Say it. My favorite. There you go. I'm, you know, the United right. States. I'm here. I live here. I'm working with the younger riders. Yep. There's, um, 
you know, and I thoroughly enjoy that side of it. We're trying to bring those riders through for the next Olympics and so forth. And uh, the ambition and drive is there for it. Awesome. So the United States, we've got Philip Dutton on Z, Boyd Martin on Testerleg, and Doug Payne on Van Diver with Tammy stepping in as the alternate there on my bomb. So that's, I mean, that is a really good team, actually. Like, you know, I've sort of said myself, like, mm, you know, I'm not sure if they're going to be in there for a medal. A finish would be sort of a good performance for them. But you start comparing it to everybody else that we just went through. And I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to give my prediction yet, but what are your thoughts on this team? Yeah, no, I think it is a good team. And um, there's, you know, obviously they've got Philip in there who is, Actually, I believe the eldest USA athlete. That's right. That is at, correct. At the Olympic Games. Fifty-eight. Fifty-six. No, fifty-seven. Fifty-eight. 58, 58, 58, 58. We'll split the difference. Somewhere uh, in there. Whatever. It's close. Somewhere in there. Fifty-ish. Yeah. 50 -ish. yeah. Um, so anyway, they've got Philip in there, who obviously has masses of experience at um, Olympic Games, and uh, you know he he won the individual bronze there at the last Olympic Games in Rio. So and then. Boyd, who's now, I think this is probably his third, third Olympic Games, probably. Yep. Um, great, great competitor. And, uh, you know, and backed up there with, with Doug, you know, and that's, that's, that's a great cross-country combination. They're, they've proved to be very quick on the cross-country. Um, I know... You think Doug will be looking for any shortcuts? <laughs> He well, likes to find shortcuts. He likes to find a shortcut. And, <laughs> and with all due, that horse is older Sorry. too. He's 17, but I think that horse is in great shape. I, I think he looks the best of his career in this last year or so. Yeah, and it, it you know, it ran, it ran great, great at Land Rover yep. in April. It was amazing. Very quick. I think like 1.2 time faults or something. Right. Ran quick, ran strong. Um, so... You Good know, team. I think it's it's a strong team, and as we've talked about, I think the cross country is going to be a very influential phase, as it should be in our, our sport. It should be the most influential phase, and I think that it will be in this games. So, you know, I know the boys have worked really hard. Eric's been running round, um, Jenny as well. You know, they put hours and hours into this and uh, they really deserve something out of this. Right, right, no, absolutely. I mean, <clears throat> like I sort of, at the last show said, I think, you know, if we get a top five finish, we should be pretty happy, but you look at this and start thinking, if, again, three clear rounds on cross country. Yeah. It's not, on, not out of the realm to think they could be in there for a medal. Right. So. I think it all comes down to that, though, right? Right. It's it, and it comes down to that cross country. I think run. I, I think. I mean, you know, I mean, no I matter mean, if we like it or not, we haven't seen it. We haven't format. seen it this format yet. But I mean, you know, and maybe it'd be very different to what I'm seeing right now. But I think the cross country is going to be hugely influential in this team competition. Well, especially if Derek builds a course even remotely close to what he built at Kentucky. Yeah. I mean, that was... I mean, the, the five short you're talking about? <laughs> or the five long. They were, both, they were both incredibly difficult tracks. Yes. I would think the Olympics would be softer. You would think so a little bit. You know, you would imagine because obviously you do have these um, nations countries. there that perhaps don't, don't have as, as much experience. You know, traditionally in the Olympic Games, you know, the... The direct way has always been a has always been a big cross country course, you know, and um, you know they've usually built alternatives at a lot of the jumps, which does allow the lesser nations, you know, to to complete and get round very often, and but obviously is much more time consuming. Right. And so you know we, I think we all hope that that's that's the way that's the way it will be this time. That you know the direct way everywhere will be, a, you know, a really proper championship course which you know allows the countries that should win it hopefully they you know they do win it but it, then it gives everybody an opportunity also to get round and and complete i think wasn't rio the same we we're all going down there with thinking rio was going to be soft right and boy within the first three horses we we're like this isn't yeah. soft no no but we should have known that when it was Pierre Michelin, wasn't it? <laughs> right. Yeah. I yeah. mean. Funny enough, everything was on angles. 
Yeah. Three strides. Never known him go soft. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, he is tough. <laughs> So, so now we're down to predictions. Predictions. <laughs> yeah. So who's up first? Less. Are we going with teams? Let's go teams Let's first. Let's go teams first. All right. All right. I'm going to be, I'm, I'm going to have to go with Great Britain. All right. Great Britain's gold. Um, I think, uh, you know, like I said, they've got. That London 54 horse. Yeah. Ooh. And they've got, they've got, like I said, three combinations on there. They've, they've all, all have won five stars. So. I think they probably have to start favorites. Right. Um, and then I'm going to go, I'm going to go Germany. Yep. And then I'm going to go USA. All right. USA in there for the medal. Yeah. They squeeze out Australia. I hope so. Yeah. All right. Good. And I hope they do better than that even. So do I. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait. Your turn. My, no, you're next. I kind of like his pick. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. I mean, <laughs> if you flip flop the Germans with the Great Britain, but I'm, I think the horse, I think exactly what Leslie said with the Great Britain team. It, it's, it's a hard one, not, it's a hard one to beat. So yeah. I, I'm going to put them in, I'm going to go, the, I'm ditto. It's theirs to lose, quite honestly, yeah, right? right? Yeah, I mean, anything, anything can happen. Anything can happen, but with those three combinations, it is probably their competition to lose. So, you know? And I certainly want to say this, that I, I, like Leslie said, would love for the U.S. team to be in the gold position. You know, but I want them to be in a medal position. So my pick is that they will be bronze, and I definitely want them in the top five if anything goes wrong. I want, to, I want them in the five. So. Right. So I'm going to say after all of these episodes of me saying that we're going to be fortunate to finish our team. You're going to put them in the gold. They're winning because I am now a fan. Good all of you. that, all of that predictions and thought and you going know, for the being gold. logical about it is gone. I'm putting all my chips on the table. USA is going to win the gold and I'm going to go even a step further and take us to this and say, Philip, no, nope, don't go individual. I'm doing it. I'm doing you it. Philip's my gold it. medalist. I don't care. <laughs> okay, keep going. What's what's your bron uh, I don't silver even bronze? Matter. Yeah, it does. <laughs> keep going. All right, then I'll put Great Britain as uh, silver and Germany as bronze. Okay. USA. All right, now we go to USA. individual USA. Howard. You got to follow your own I mean, rules. it's interesting, isn't it? Like we've named those three countries, and yet we haven't even talked about Australia, New Zealand, and. So yeah, I think, no, yeah. exactly. I think it could be anything. It's I'm gonna just, be it's gonna be great to watch. I'm just fanboying and being a total homer. That's all I'm doing. Good for you. Yeah, that's good for you. That, why do you like to wear that hat? You know, all of a sudden. Well, because it's right at the end. Like now, I'm I'm a fan. I'm no longer <laughs> like. Where is your hat? I, I, you know what? I need to. I, it's, I've got Where's it. your fan hat? I need your hair looks hat. good Come though. On. I, I'm I'm proud of you. Did you do that for me? Yeah, no, I brushed it today. Yeah, thanks. I mean, I thought you'd have had a flag up in here tonight. I should have. You're right. Joel, so, <laughs> what are you thinking? Why is there a flag? <laughs> so let's go with the individual. So you've already m named yours. You're yep. going with Philip. Yeah, he's, we're going to go over the gold position. You say Philip. Yep. You say. Uh, damn. Damn. I'm going to go Tom McEwen. All right, that's a good. That's a good pick. Yeah. All right, Rick. I'm going Doug. Yeah, that's, that's good. I'm going to be the boy. I'm going for you, Doug. Gold. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of questioning if I should have picked Boyd, actually, because that one I think no, is a better test right. than Philip. Uh, too late. Can uh, I change it? Nope. No changes. Yeah. You're, 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 you're in a hurry. Who's your you? silver? Boyd. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah. you got to because <laughs> yeah, because you you picked him as gold. So That's I right. guess We're Doug gold is bronze, and, and then Doug's bronze. Okay, <laughs> Tammy <laughs> finishes fourth because they were like, "You guys are so good, we want all four to run." That's what happens. <laughs> USA. All right, Les. Thank you so much. Wait, he's got to do his silver. Oh, I'm sorry. You got a sorry, few sorry, seconds sorry, more. Sorry. I apologize. Silver, Andrew Hoy, and right. bronze, uh, Michael Young. Right. I go Col Colette for silver and Tom McGowan for bronze. All right. Awesome. Can I do it now? Yeah. All right. Les, thank you for joining us. It's been a lot of fun. It has been. We, we got through back. them all. I wasn't sure we were going to. I started us out a little slow. I set the tempo maybe a little steady. Yeah. But you know what? You stay just behind those minute markers, and then bam, middle of the track, start opening it up. We did it. Good job. We've got, got about got 24 done. time penalties right just now. Inside we're, getting, we're getting a little bit of time penalties, but that's all right. So anyway, thank you. Thank you, everybody, for watching.
Go USA. This is going to be a great Olympics. Go USA. Rick Wallace. And I have John Holly here with me. Three phases, dressage, cross country, show jump. And you're out on course and something's going wrong or going right. You know how to react to what they're doing built originally to be a school facility and so everything's set up very conveniently.